Hey guys, it's Chelsea Messenger with Picks and Parlays. We're talking college football. ACC action here. Uh, number nine, Miami at Duke. College basketball is finally back and we've got a promo code. The code is BALL for 15% off the entire site at picksandparlays.net. Miami favored my minus 14 and a half. Total is 61 and a half. And Miami was actually supposed to play Wake Forest, but COVID problems. Now they're playing Duke. Uh, Miami seven and one on the season, five and three against the number. Duke is two and seven, but four and five against the spread. Uh, Miami has not played since November 14th. A 25-24 win over Virginia Tech as two point underdogs. Uh, and then you've got Duke coming off a 56 to 33 loss to Georgia Tech as two and a half point favorites. We've got Craig Trapp joining us now. Craig, initial thoughts when it comes to Miami and Duke. Uh, it's like, what do you expect from Miami? Because Miami has seen probably more than any team in college football the last about four weeks, the most like upheaval in their program. They've had so many guys in and out of on the COVID list and quarantining. And I think it's asking a lot to be this rusty to face a team that has been, you know, hasn't been nearly as effective like Duke. And then to ask them to beat a team by more than two touchdowns. So to me, I think Miami wins, but I think it's one of those grinded out games that is ugly. And that means I'm going to take all the points here. I just think Duke, they're not a very good team. But when you face a team that is just not, you know, at their typical, uh, you know, 100% of the, like you would expect this time of the season, I think it's just asking a lot for a Miami team to go on the road at Duke and then win by double digits. So to me, I think it's one of those ugly games. They win by seven or 10 and don't cover. So I'm going to take Duke. I know on paper, it does not look like Duke has a chance to cover this game, uh, but that's usually when you have the best chance actually in betting. Yeah, uh, Duke actually has a nice pair of defensive ends that have 11 and a half sacks or 15 and a half sacks this season, which is pretty nice. But overall, their run defense is absolutely putrid. 377 yards rushing in their last game to Georgia Tech, and they're averaging giving up 200 yards a game on the ground, which I don't think is going to be a great matchup against Miami, who likes to run the football, especially with De'Ara King, uh, Mr. Dual Threat quarterback. But we are talking about 14 and a half points here. You get the hook. Last time out, Duke actually won this game, 27-17. I think Miami's a much different football team this yeah. season. I think that goes without saying. Uh, Duke's problem has been their turnovers. The thing is, if they can limit their turnovers, they actually move the ball pretty well. But they have 30 giveaways this season, which is the most in the nation. And their quarterback, Chase Bryce, leads the nation in interceptions with 13. So uh, it's not that they can't move the ball. It's the problem that they can't hold on to the ball. So uh, if they don't give the ball away, they could move the chains a little bit. Well, we'll help that Miami's defense, even though, you know, you had a defensive minded coach, you would expect, and when Manny Diaz was the a defensive coordinator, this defense was unbelievable. The offense was the issue. Now, all of a sudden, defense seems to be the issue here in Miami. So I like the over as well in this one, um, but I think it will help Duke that Miami just seems to give up a lot of points and, uh, and points in bunches sometimes. It's just like defensive lapses and coming off that uh, big break here, I think you'll see even more of that. So I like the over and Duke, but I'm going to Duke um, with the points as my better uh, of the two. All right. Well, that's going to do it for our college football talk here on Picks and Parlays. As always, great insight from Craig Trapp. Craig, thanks for joining us.